This video has voiceover in English. You can use YouTube feature auto caption and auto translate to your language. Create stock met aerial. Create new component. Name it as stock. Create sketch in XY plan. Change view into front view. Our stock has six inches thickness. So we draw this line in half. Draw line as height of stock. Mirror left side to right side. Finish the sketch. Select sketch area and press key E to extrude into 3D. Change direction to symmetric and measurement as whole length. Set distance as 6 inches. To make it look easier, set capacity control of stock component as 20%. Right click at master component and new component. Name it as workpiece. Create new sketch at XY plan. Press key P to project from stock component. Click stock, click option to remove projection link. Draw center line. Snap from center of top line to center of bottom line. Offset a line from bottom to be bottom line of workpiece. 20 millimeters distance. To avoid cut into lower fixture. Offset top line to make workpiece lower than stock. Distance 5 millimeters. Select this offset symbol. Right click and delete to remove offset relation. Offset from center line. This is half of width of workpiece. Offset a line from bottom line. Distance minus 35 millimeters. More offset from bottom line, minus 180 millimeters distance. Draw curve line from fit point spine tool. Click check mark to finish spline line. Move spline node to edit spline curve. Click offset symbol and press key del to delete offset relation. Offset minus 10 millimeters. Draw 45 degree corner. Delete this offset relation. Offset minus 20 millimeters. Mirror this line.
Draw three point cycle. Press key T to active trim tool and click to delete some line. Press key E to extrude. Click this eyes icon to hide stock component. Select some area to extrude. Draw curve line from fit point spine tool. Mirror this body. Select Move Tool. Set Pivot Point at center of top of body. Check Create Copy option. Rotate the body 90 degree. The bodies need to perfectly overlap to each other. Combine the bodies. Set Combine Operation as Intersect. You will see the result is not correct, so click Cancel. Right-click Extrude feature at Timeline, select Edit. Change distance to 6 inches. Combine the bodies again. Now we have four sides body. To make it into 8 sides body, go to Move Tool. Check to create copy. Rotate the body 45 degree. Combine with Intersect Operation. Now we have 8 sides body as result. Bring back visibility of stock component. Combine the bodies again. Now we have four sides body. Measure diagonal distance. It is about 216 millimeters. Click to edit sketch of the workpiece. We will create guideline for cutting tool to move outside the stock. Offset center line. Distance more than half of diagonal that is 216 millimeters. So I put it 220 divided by two. Draw a line to force cutting tool to move above stock in 10 millimeters distance. Offset to make line to guide cutting tool to move down outside stock. Draw upper corner line guide. Draw lower corner line guide. Trim to delete some unnecessary lines. Now, we finish modeling. To create toolpath, go to Manufacture Workspace. Click here to create new setup. 
Hide visibility of stock component. Select orientation as X and Y axis. Pick direction from some lines in the model. Check this to flip Y axis. Select origin as selected point. Select model as workpiece component. Define stock mode to from solid. Select choose stock solid as the stock component. Go to trace tool. Select cutting tool. I made hot wire tool from normal end mill tool. Any diameter is fine. Center of tool will move along center of curve. Go to Geometry tab. Select Curve by click at top corner line. Click it twice to active editing tool. Click Reverse to change moving direction. Tool path will start from here. Next curve is lower corner. You can also active edit tool by click here. Next curve is guide from diagonal distance. Bring the tool to body of workpiece. Select Curve by Curve to choose direction from lower to upper of workpiece. You will see we cannot select way up curve. We need to go back to Design Workspace to edit this sketch. To make Fusion 360 understand which way is way up, just trim to delete the line we don't want. Go back to Manufacture Workspace and try again. There is problem here. We need to edit sketch again. Now we can continue select of the last curve. Go to Passes. Click Preserve Order to make Toolpath move by order from our click selection. Next, we will simulate Toolpath to see how Cutting Tool will move. If everything is okay, exit simulation. Go to post process to export G code. For GRBL user, make sure post is GBL and safer tracks and home positioning is clearance height. Then, post to export G code. Open file location of G code. Open G code in simple text editor like Notepad. Press Ctrl and A to select all G-code. Then, 
press Ctrl and C to copy. Go to my website, nc7th.com slash rotary, PHP to use Rotary G Code Editor. Paste G Code into this text area. Input quantity of sides do you want to cut. Then click Generate. You can scroll down to read G Code. If anything is okay, click here to download G Code. Now, open Machine Controller Program, Universal G Code Sender or UGS. Open G Code File. NC7 Foam Art Machine use Z axis to control rotary axis. You can see toolpath display in layers along Z axis. Click here to change view to top view. The G code editor, still not perfect. We need to edit G code manually to make the machine move faster outside material. This is built in G code editor. When you press direction key on keyboard up or down, you will see yellow highlight in visualizer. Type G0 in front of this G code line. Click save. You will see blue line changes to yellow line. Blue is cutting feed move by default 500 millimeters per minute. Yellow line is rapid speed movement by default of foam art machine is 3000 millimeters per minute. So machine will move faster outside material. Keep repeat insert G0 in all blue lines outside material to save cutting time. Now, end of this lesson. I hope you enjoy your working. Let me know if you have any question. Bye-bye.